Many, many years ago in Angola, there lived a girl with beautiful large eyes. Whenever she walked through the village, her gaze was more than the young men could bear. On the summer that she was to marry, a drought came upon the region. Crops dried up and the earth dried up and turned to dust. The people began to starve. And when a man's mind is on food, he cannot think of marriage, even to one so beautiful as the girl with the large eyes. She had very little time to think of her own misfortune, because it was her duty each day to go to the river bed and to scoop up the clay and to squeeze what water she could from the clay. One day she goes to the river bed and she scoops up the clay and a fish appears and he says to her, Give me your pitcher. She obeys and he fills it with cool, clear water. The next day the girl returned to the riverbed and she called to the fish and he said to her, Give me your pitcher. She obeyed and he filled it with cool, clear water. Each day the girl returned to the riverbed and each day she called to the fish and each day he filled her pitcher with water. And the girl became very fond of the fish. His skin was clear like the water he provided for her each day. His eyes were the color of the rainbow. And on the seventh day, she allowed him to embrace her. And she became his wife. Now the father of the girl with the large eyes became very curious as to where she was getting this water from each day. He was a medicine man. He turned his son, her brother, into a fly. And he commanded, follow her, report back to me. The next morning, the brother, the son, the fly, followed the girl with the large eyes to the riverbed. He watched in amazement as the girl called to the fish. He watched in amazement as she allowed the fish to embrace her. He flies home to tell his father of this disgraceful occurrence. The next morning, the father would not allow the girl with the large eyes to go to the riverbed. Instead, he and his son go to the riverbed. And when they arrive, they call to the fish. And when he appears, they kill him. They pick up the fish. They take it back to the girl with the large eyes. They throw it at her feet and they say to her, We have bought you your husband. She looks down at the fish. Eyes no longer the color of the rainbow. Skin no longer clear. And her eyes began to fill with tears. She picked up the fish, wondering what would become of the child that she was carrying inside her. If they killed her husband, would they not also kill her children? She walked for many, many miles until she came to a cool, clear stream. Calling her husband's name, she walked into the water until it covered her head. But before she died, she gave birth to many, many children. And they can be seen on the beds of the river today as water lilies.